Okay, here we have sort of a real-world application of a system of linear equations. We have a movie star, movie rental place called Cinestar, which has two choices for movie rentals. Customers can either pay a yearly membership of $45 and then rent each movie they rent for $2, or they can not pay the $45 membership fee and rent each movie for $350 instead. The question is how many movies do you have to rent in a year before the membership, the $45 fee, becomes the better option. So what I've done is assign Y to the total yearly cost and X to the number of movies. And since this word problem ran a little long, I kind of pre-built some of our information here. Our first equation would be Y equals 45 plus 2X, because that's the $45 yearly fee and two times the number of movies since each movie costs two dollars. If we do that then plug in some points for X we get the corresponding Y values. If we don't rent any movies at all we pay the $45 fee and that's it. it costs us $45. If we rent 10 movies then we get the $45 fee plus $20 and at 30 movies we get the $45 fee plus $60 um, or a total of 105. Our other equation then is the total cost is $3.50 times the number of movies. So if we don't rent any movies at all, we don't pay anything because there's no yearly fee. If we rent 10 movies, we pay $35 because $3.50 per movie times 10 movies. And then if we rent 30 movies, we pay $105, uh, $3.50 times 30. So then if we graph those two, they look like this. We can see that they both hit this point, 30 and 105 at 30 movies both options end up being $105 30 movies $105 so that's sort of the turnaround point right there if you rent less than 30 movies it's cheaper to do the per movie and no no yearly fee so this is less than 30 and if you rent more than 30 movies then it's cheaper to do this one pay the yearly fee but then pay less per movie. If you rent 30 movies it doesn't matter. You can choose either option and you'll end up paying the same amount.